Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So today we will solve one more lead code question which is under top interview 150. It's come under medium. So the question is question number 73 set metric zeros. So let's first understand this question. So as part of this given a uh, m cross n matrix integer matrix uh, if an element is zero set the entire row and column to zeros you must do it in place so the question is very simple if you have a matrix like this so if any zero you have encountered uh, in any of the row or column then the whole row and the whole column should be set to zeros so it should not be like that that i am setting this to zero and then these all are also zeros so only the rows and columns where the existing place it has zero the same column and the rows should be zero okay uh, in this second example also it is a uh, uh, four three cross four matrix so in this as well uh, the zero zero is uh, uh, has zero so entire uh, entire row and entire column will be zero and the last uh, uh, row uh, last column is also having zero so this also has to be whole zero and this is already zero okay so I hope you understood the question the question is very simple and uh, uh, we need to do it in place so the return type of this uh, function is will be void and let's uh, see the constraints so as part of constraints uh, it will have uh, m will be greater than uh, m and n both will be greater than one so we don't have to take care of any null checks so uh, so uh, if you see the follow-up uh, it is saying a straightforward solution would be using m cross n space which is probably a bad idea the second point is a simple improvement uses uh, o of m plus n space but still it is not the best solution could you devise a constant space solution so as part of as part of first part of this video we will solve this question with o of m plus n space and then we will improve in the second part of this video with a constant space solution to this is we will have two uh, two arrays or uh, or any data structure a linear data structure where we will save uh, whenever we encountered uh, any row or column with zero suppose if we will iterate through this matrix and we found this uh, one one as zero then we will, cap we will capture this uh, uh, row value and column value in a separate separate uh, arrays and then uh, we will reiterate those arrays and columns and then we'll set the entire array entire row as zero okay uh, it will be much clearer when we write the code so let's get started so as part of this we will first get the m and n since it will be easier to write code with the lengths so we'll do matrix dot length okay and now n is matrix of zero dot length okay now we'll use set of integer for capturing our rows which is having zeros okay similarly we'll have one more set with columns okay now we'll iterate to the matrix with two variables i and j i less than m i plus plus one more loop g is equal to 0 g less than n and g plus plus okay now we'll see if our matrix of i and j has a 0 then we'll capture that okay what how we will capture we will just add rows to our rows set and 
columns to our column set okay so now we have we have captured that information that which row and which column is having zeros okay now we'll iterate through our row okay now for for these rows all the columns will be zero so in i equal to zero i less than n here it will be n because if this row i have to make suppose this one is zero and i have to make this entire row as zero then row number remains the same the columns will change right it is zero one two so we need to iterate through the columns and this from here I, we will get the rows right so what we can do matrix of row number we are getting from here and this is our column we will set it to zero okay similarly for the columns we have captured okay we need to iterate through the array and here we are changing the rows the columns remains the same we need to set it to zero okay because if you want to set for this all the rows zero then the row number will change and here it will be row number okay so let's test it this okay so our test get passed let's submit it Great. so it worked okay now we need to uh, we need to change it according to the description right can we devise into the constant space? as a follow-up we need to do it in constant space is it possible or not you can try it by yourself I will see you in the next part of this video with the constant space solution thank you